the return of Figure Fix Friday. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today is a Figure Fix Friday. And what we're going to do today is a whole bunch of figures in one go. Hopefully we can get this all done within the hour or within my hour. I'm probably going to edit this down to about 10 to 20 minutes, but we will see. So what are we doing? Let's just jump right into it. Uh, first off, I have a viewer who came to me saying, hey, I got a bunch of figures that need to be fixed. Uh, we'll call him Nathan. Nathan came up to me and said, hey, can you fix this? The first one we're looking at here is Aqua from Figma. Uh, when I got it in the mail, I was waiting for some parts, so what I do, I put it in the bag, and I pretty much come up with a plan of what I'm going to do. The problem with this figure is that the neck peg, and let's look close here, we're just going to jump right into this, no introduction whatsoever. Uh, we have a neck peg that is snapped off and into the neck there, so we're going to pull that out and we're going to do a peg replacement on that one. I think that's the first one we're going to do. And what we have here is the uh, ball shaped joint slim version. I, I forgot who made these. Oh, Hobby Base. Hobby Base makes these. And it looks like these joints are going to work and we're going to check that out. We're going to see if that fits and so we can do a nice peg replacement there. Also, we have Megumin. Uh, her staff also has the same issue, and let's look close here. Of course, we're looking through the plastic. As you can see, that peg is broken in, and also we're gonna be taking that out. And the last two uh, figures that were given by Nathan is, I already fixed this one, this is Kazuma, is he had some paint defects, and Gogeta does as well from SH Figure Arts, and these are super easy fixes to do. Now, we're also gonna be doing some action figures that are not from people, and what we have here is a Mezco Punisher. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because everyone seems to be not liking this trench coat because it looks like this and we're just going to Fabri-Tac that on and you're going to see how it looks. It's going to look absolutely amazing. And last but not least, we have an Iron Man here, which uh, the Foosh is a toy channel who reviews action figures and he says, hey, these jo arm joints are not correct. They're actually swapped where the left is the right and the right is the left. So we're gonna do a quick arm swap there just to show you guys how we're gonna do that. Uh, before we jump right in, I just wanna let you guys know, in the description, I'm also probably gonna post a comment, timestamps, this is probably gonna be a long process. So if you just wanna jump to that figure and say, hey, how do you do this? We'll jump right in. So let's just jump right into this. Let's move everything aside. Everyone, please stand by. We're gonna work on Aqua first. Gonna clear out everything here. Okay, so here's Aqua with her head off. <laughs> oh man, this this is kind of sad. But we can fix this. I'm hoping we can fix this. So as you can see, let's look closer there at the detail. That is uh, a straight up sheared off um, peg joint right there. So what we're going to do is... Oh, by the way, all of my tools that I use are going to be in the description down below as well. So what we're going to do here is we got some model... Um, pliers here these are fine needle nose pliers and a lot of people come up to me before i fit before i go right into this a lot of people come up to me hey can i use this as a replacement blah 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 they always want to know if there's something else they can you no. know okay i'm just going to tell you right now if you want the same results that i get in these videos you have to get what i use okay you can't use a giant <laughs> giant hardware pliers because they're just not going to get in there and do the job right so you got to do the job right. You need the right tools. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, let's dunk this into some hot water. Her head's going to dunk right into the hot water. We're just going to remove that peg, and then we're going to remove the sheared off peg off the body. We're just going to put it in there for about 10 seconds. This is hot water. That was in the microwave for about three minutes, so it's extremely hot. So we got to loosen up that plastic. And that was super easy to do. As you can see, we just removed that and we're going to give it a replacement. Uh, let's look at the hobby base right here. Uh, before we do that, let's remove this. Now, this is probably going to be the hardest part of this is to remove this. So let's see if we can loosen this plastic up or heat up this plastic so it's soft enough so we can get in there and remove it. So here we go. Let's give this a shot. Let that go for 10 seconds. 
Got to get that really hot because that plastic has to move. Okay. So, got that super hot. Now we're just going to go in there and try to remove it as best as we can. See, this is the really hard part about doing this is because you don't want to damage the figure. But you got to get that out. So what we need to loosen it up with probably something like this. Okay, since this joint is practically gone, we can uh, we have to dig for it. Oh, look at that. It's coming out. So I'm going to use this tool. And we're going to slowly remove it. As you can see, there you have it. I removed the peg. Let's look close here. Let's see if the camera can catch that. Um, hold on one second. Let's move the cup. As you can see, that has been sheared off. Uh, my pick happened to pull it out real easy because it's heated up. Sorry about the focusing issues here. So we removed that. And now we could do a very, very easy joint replacement. But I think the problem here is, or the issue that we're going to have is finding the right size. So we're going to remove this and we're going to see what's going on here. And to me, it looks like this one might actually work. So let's look at there, and yes, that looks like it is the correct one. I got some modeling clippers right here. And we're just going to remove that. Super easy to do. And then we're going to remove that. And let's take off this extra piece of plastic right there. And I think we could just go like this, right? This is the first time I've ever messed with anything from Hobby Base, but I'm so glad that I, I did my research on this. Um, of course, we're gonna. Looks like it just needs a little bit of tightening right there. We're just gonna lightly snap it in. Ooh, look at that! That was perfect. Uh, it doesn't look like I need anything else, so we're just gonna jump right in there. We're gonna put this in right into Aqua's neck. Oh yeah, look at that! That's perfect already. And bam, just like that. Should be just like that. And just like that. There you go, Nathan. Your Aqua. Wow, she's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, as it falls off. Uh, I think that needs to be a little bit tighter. Okay, so um, upon assembling this, I realized that this joint actually is too small. I've tried another joint. This is the biggest joint that you get in the set, and even that is too small. So there's nothing to worry about here. I kind of figured out what I'm going to do, and I'm going to give this a shot. So one thing that I notice about this, by the way, when you guys get this, if you're doing a joint replacement, know that this is really <laughs> tight. Like you really got to work this out first. This is like the tightest joint I've ever seen in an action figure. So what we're going to do to fix this in order to prevent that looseness, we're going to do something called the super glue method. So the super glue method, I've shown this in my other videos, is that we're going to increase the girth of this joint by giving it a layer of super glue every time. So what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna put some super glue with my fine tip. By the way, like I said before, all this stuff can be found in the uh, description down below. So what we're gonna do here, we've glued that up a little bit and we're going to let that dry for just a second and then we're gonna give it a quick dip into the hot water or water in general. And what that does, as I've said before, it creates a reaction where it instantly dries and makes it a much bigger and thicker joint. Uh, it's a little bit tacky, so we just need to give it a second. And we're going to plug that in. Oh, look at that. That is a perfect fit right there. And we're going to move it around so it will fit perfectly. Wow. That is an awesome fit. All right, and we're gonna pull it out just real quick. Okay, we're gonna reverse it. And there you have it. And just like that, Aqua should be fixed just like that. Um, it looks like we might have to do it to this side as well. So the fit is not perfect. Let me remove her face so we can get, make this easier. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to that side. 
Just gonna give it a nice little layer right there of super glue to thicken this joint up so it fits perfectly. So you don't wanna get it into the moving part. You just wanna get it right on the peg. You're gonna give that a second. You're gonna dip it in some hot water. So now that created that layer, it's a little bit tacky. We're gonna stick it in tacky, then we're gonna remove it. Then we're gonna move it around a little bit. Then we're gonna remove it. Okay, let's see, we need, that's why you have this. Again, proper tools, always ne a necessity. And there you have it, we have a fitted joint See, let's feel if it's still tacky. It's a little bit tacky. And the super glue has dried, yes. So we are dried. Plug that in. Plug this in. Let's adjust accordingly. Plug this. Ta da! Aqua looking super cute. Definitely like that. I'm gonna dry her up a little bit because she's a little bit wet due to the hot water. There she is, 100% finished. That didn't take too long, actually. Uh, let's see if we have proper joint movement. Yep, she could still move her neck. Can she move it up and down? Yep, everything is 100%. So, we have finished Aqua and let's move on to the next fix. Okay, Megamin Staff is probably going to be the most difficult one to fix just because of the sheer fact that we have something very, very small. And it looks like to me that this might need to be permanently affixed. Uh, this is so unfortunate because I just feel like that this should not have been an issue to begin with. Um, but it's there and he sent this to me so we need to try our best. This is not a guarantee. I'm probably going to not do this one as well as I'd like. So we're gonna do a hot water fix. We gotta get that peg out and we're gonna try our best to super glue this on. This is really a difficult one. You really need to have uh, steady hands <laughs> as I drop the thing. Uh, you really need to have steady hands and precise application of super glue to get that thing on. And even then it's probably not gonna be the, uh, the same. So let Okay, we've reheated the water, super, super hot. Let's see if we can get it out. All right, whew, this is extremely hot. Okay, we're gonna stick that in there as long as we can. We really gotta try our best here. Okay, that is super hot right now. We're gonna use our pick to attempt to remove the peg. Oh man, this is tough. Yeah, this is probably going to be the toughest one because that is just not coming out. Does not want to agree with me. Okay, we got it super hot again. This plastic is extremely hard and difficult to deal with. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is gonna happen. Uh, let me see here. So I'm gonna try to unhook that. Okay. Yeah, that is not coming out, guys. I have tried my best on this one. Uh, this is extremely difficult. Let's try dipping it. Let's try this a couple more times. I don't want to give up just yet. I 
think we got a grip on it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. See, you just don't want to give up. Okay, let's look here. I don't want to put that on there. Let's look at that. And no, you really can't see it there. Look at that. I got it. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet, guys. Okay, so what we have here is uh, this has been broken off right there. So what we have here is a diamond needle file set. Uh, we're gonna f uh, we're gonna sand that down, and we're going to try our best to fix that back on. And the sanding gives it a nice uh, what's what's the word here? A, a texture to it, so the super glue will adhere better. A file set is something that you definitely need whenever you're doing figure fixes or just anything of fixing in general. You always want to sand it down or sand down stuff that are that need to be glued or little details that need to be painted. And we sand that out we sand that down really nicely as you can see. Uh, this is the 180 grit diamond file. Okay, now here's the hard part. We really need to make sure that this goes back on. <laughs> uh, you know what, let's sand this uh, this little bit just in case. I'm not gonna use the tweezers because I have a feeling I'm gonna lose this. So we're just gonna give it a nice light sand. Okay. <sighs> now, have these these are surgical or or medical I forgot what these are called calipers sure we're gonna call them that so we're gonna try our best to fit this on see if it'll even work first okay so we need to fit it on like so I have a feeling this won't go on as flush as I'd like but we're gonna give it a shot Wish me luck, guys. I'm going in. So we're gonna take our super glue once again with the uh, with the precise applicator. We're just gonna put a little dot. A little bit does go a long way in this case. Okay, we just put a little dab. That's it. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. And then we're going to grab this and we're gonna put this right in the middle. I'm going to hold it there for just a second. Uh, that did not go on as well as I'd like. Okay. That looks pretty good right there. All right. That's pretty center, I'd have to say. Okay. If this doesn't work, I will have to permanently affix this. Um, but yeah, I got it out. I managed to fit it on, super glue it on. I'm going to warn you guys, if you do do something like this, this is probably not going to last that long. It's just that once you break that, it's pretty much never going to ever be the same uh, when it comes to broken joints or pegs or anything like that. Um, so basically what I'm trying is hoping, hopefully this won't be too much of an issue. Hopefully it'll stay on for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a couple of seconds to dry. This is this is a uh, a trial run. If I can pull this off, if it if it seems to be working, if it doesn't break off, then we're good to go. If not, we will have to permanently affix this back on. All right, guys, give me about five minutes and or ten minutes, and I will be right back. Later in the void. All right, it's been about five to ten minutes. Uh, this thing has dried pretty sturdy. Uh, so let's give that a shot and look at that. That is a perfect fit. Ooh. So I'm just gonna let you guys know that if you do do this, like I said before, uh, this is not a permanent fix. If you even jolt it left or right, it'll probably snap off. So you oh, once this is done, you always gotta fit it in like straight, like so. And that should pretty much solve the issue right there. 
This is done. I'm pretty excited about this one. This one I was really afraid that I wasn't going to get done or it wasn't going to fit on correctly. So let's move on to the other action figures in uh, that need to be fixed. Okay, let's look at this guy. This is Kazuma. Uh, Kazuma had paint defects. Now, usually when you ever have a, a paint defect, and I, I already fixed this one. Uh, I fixed this as soon as I got it. If you look close here, whenever you get a paint defect, it's usually just a little bit extra paint, and it was right here. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It was like a little bit of a dot of brown. So what you want to do is you want to get your diamond file needle set. You want to get the finest one. Mine is 360 grit, and you just want to lightly sand it like so until you get that extra brown out. Now, you might notice that the finish might not be uh, the same, and that's where Mr. Hobby Top Coat comes in once again to save the day. We're going to give this a shot of, of Top Coat on there, and we're going to see if we can bring back that luster. Also, one more thing uh, that he know, he told me is that the sword had a silver marking over here, and I did just sand that down. That is super easy to fix as well. And uh, yeah, this is practically done as is. I'm going to give it a shot of top coat, just a really light coat, and we're going to go from there. Next on the list is the SH Figure Arts Gogeta. Uh, Kazuma is drying right now, but we're probably going to add this to the drying section, and in just a second, I'll tell you why. This one also suffered from paint defects. Let's see if we can zoom in. Ooh, super zoom in. If you look right here, hopefully it'll focus. That is a light tint of blue on the nose. This is a factory defect that is super easy. Just like Kazuma, we're just gonna lightly sand that down until it comes right off. Right on the nose. Lightly, okay? <laughs> just gonna lightly sand it. And then once we get rid of that blue, we're gonna we're going to, what do you call it? We're going to give it another shot of, uh, what do you call it? Um, Mr. Hobby. This just takes a second. That cool. That is really in there. Yeah, that blue is really in there. It's almost like it's part of the plastic. Let's just give it some more sanding. Yeah, that's really tough to get out. Let's try another file. See if we can get in there. This one's a flatter one. For the most part, I got some of it off. For the most part. So yeah, I did get most of it out, which is really nice. I took out some of the luster, but like I said, that's where top coat comes in. And last but not least, it looks like there was a defect he told me. Uh, I can't seem to find it anymore. Where the hair, right. If you look right here, they totally missed the paint app there. This is where we take our Micron 0 0.005. We're just going to color that in. So it looks more natural. There we go. That pretty much solves that issue. And like I said, we're going to go in the back gonna put some top coat we'll be right back all right we're back from the back of this place and these have dried up and these are looking really good as you can see uh, this nose no longer has that shade of blue I don't know if you guys can see it let's see if we can zoom in there as you can see it's very nice very clean and of course we filled in the black spot that was missing right there it looks like we do have a little bit of blue that kind of went on 
Just gonna give that a nice little sand right there to remove that. And yet, yeah, easy as that. And there you have it. We're probably gonna give that another shot of good old fashioned Mr. Hobby matte finish. All right, these are practically done. Let's put this back on Goku here, or sorry, not Goku, Gogeta, come on. And as you can see, Gogeta is looking fantastic. And let's let's look at Kazuma. And Kazuma is no longer having that that brown or the brown mark that was on his nose, and it's sanded off, and it's matte finished, and it looks fantastic. And the sword has been matte finished again, and that looks really good right there. So these two are practically done. Um, let's put them away, and let's go on to the last two figures of this figure fix Friday. Okay, let's look at the Mezco Punisher right here. So, a lot of people are saying that his jacket looks really messed up. And that's because these are frayed like that or they're not properly sewn in. And so that gives him a really weird looking look. This is so easy. You can buy Fabri-Tac and this is a permanent adhesive which goes on fabric. And what's cool, I already tested this on the bottom here, is that this uh, glue is actually, uh, what's the word I'm looking, bendy? <laughs> it doesn't dry hard so it dries really cool like it bends with fabric as it should so because it's fabric glue so we're just gonna give it an application of fabric glue on the in part and in the inside part of the jacket here so we can have a much cleaner looking jacket just gonna put a little bit in there like so we're gonna squeeze that in There you have it. That's already starting to look really cool. It looks much cleaner, as you can see on the jacket. And we're gonna put it on the collar as well. You know what, let's just take this jacket off Frank here. And then we're gonna put it on at the, probably near the end of the video. Cause I know this stuff takes a little bit longer to dry. So we're gonna put it on the collar. The collar part was really annoying me. But thank goodness for Fabri-Tac here, which goes right on there. And we're gonna attach this, or we're not, not attach it, we're gonna press on it so it adheres perfectly. And that's one side of the jacket already looking really clean. Put some more Fabri-Tac right here. Right there. Now we're just gonna put it all on the end part right here. All right, put that in there, then we're just gonna press. Like so. Press on the collar. No, I think the collar needs a little bit more. I really want that to look clean. Like so. And press. And that pretty much solves it there. Um, yeah, so there you have it. You have a much cleaner looking jacket. It's not so frayed. You know what? We're just gonna put this on. Let's not wait until the end of the video. Okay, and there you have it. Frank is looking really, really good with a much cleaner uh, trench coat. Not so ugly looking because of that inseam, or I guess it's an inseam. Yeah, it's an inseam. It is not all over the place. And there you have it. That looks so much better, in my opinion. Okay, we're back with some hot water. We reheated the water. Before we uh, remove the arms, I'm going to show you how you know that these arms are incorrect. So if you look here on this arm, you'll notice that there's two lines. I'm going to show you right here. One, two. And that's on the inner part of Iron Man here. If you look here on this Spider-Man Marvel Legends, you'll notice only one line on the bicep right there. And in the back, you have that same too. Hence the reason why this is incorrect. So we're just going to pull those off, the arms off, and we're going to go from there. So this is a really easy fix. All you got to do is dip Iron Man in the hot water. Just hot enough so we can pull off the arms. And then we're going to swap them. Okay. Pull these off. 
Should be fairly simple. Nope, that's not coming off. Everyone give me one second, we're gonna try that again. It seems like the shoulder just needs to be heated. So we're gonna dip that in there. All right, we dipped him in there. This should come right off. Come on, ah, easy peasy. There you have it. And we're gonna take the other one off of Iron Man as well. Let's remove the hand. Let's dunk that side of his shoulder in. This takes about 10 seconds. Uh, you just wanna heat it up just enough. Like I said before, a lot of people have been asking me, how come you don't use a hair dryer? Because hair dryers are dry air, and dry air can really melt a figure. When it's wet like this, um, it is safer. You are not gonna warp the plastic as much. So that's why I like using the hot water method more than I like to use the hair dryer method. The positives of the hair dryer method though are the fact that the hair dryer can get super hot and you don't have to keep reheating. Okay, so now that we remove that, we're just gonna do a quick arm swat si swap since the arms are already warm. <clears throat> and all we gotta do is twist that in. If not, I'm gonna reheat this arm. Oh, it's serious heat. Ah, oh, it's really hot. Okay. And we're going to plug the left arm into the right and the right into the left. Because from the factory, this Iron Man is incorrect. Just give me one second here. Really wet and hot figure. All right. Plug that in. Plug that in. All right, and they're both plugged in. Now we're gonna take the proper hands. And there you have it. Iron Man is proper. Look at that, he's all checking out his biceps. Like, wow, I got the right arm this time. Uh, let's check that. So all, what you wanna do now is probably stick him in the fridge so he can cool up. And that pretty much finishes that. All right, let's come up with a conclusion of everything that I did to all these figures during this Figure Fix Friday. Let's talk about Iron Man. All I did was the hot water mod. I just switched the arms off. Really, really simple to do. Uh, for Punisher, I used Fabri-Tac to Fabri-Tac his coat so it doesn't uh, stick or, no, not sorry, not stick. It doesn't fray out and look ugly. It made it look much cleaner. For Aqua hair, I just used uh, Hobby Base, the joint replacement system. And then I use some super glue to thicken up that joint so it fits better. And for Kazuma and Gogeta, I just sanded it down and gave it a shot of Mr. Hobby matte finish. These are all relatively easy to fix. Uh, I have all the tools down in the description down below. And I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys want me to fix your figures, unfortunately, I cannot do it for free anymore. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking me, hey, can you fix my figure? But it's just, I don't have enough time anymore. I have the shop, I have uh, two other jobs, and then I have to do YouTube. So I'm a very busy guy, and doing this is very time consuming. This took about an hour and a half to finish. So I have a lot of things to do lately. But if you wanna message me or email me, uh, you can. It's so easy to do, and I will always help you out. I'll try my best to get to your message, and I'll give you some tips to fix them. Uh, also, if you really, really, really want me to fix your toy, just like I did with Nathan here, um, he decided to have him shipped out and he's going to be paying me for the fixes uh, if he's cool with it. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for today. And don't forget to visit www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, you. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.